Let's find the vertical and horizontal components for a velocity vector that's 190 meters per second pointed at 18 degrees south of the east line. So once again, we'll draw in the components, we'll break it down. There's my x component, and it's pointed to the right, so I'm going to label that vx. My y component is down. You always put your components together tip to tail. And again, the two components will always make 90 degrees to each other, so we'll use our standard trig equations to figure out these values. So let's start with the horizontal component, Vx. Well, Vx is adjacent to my 18 degrees, and we know the hypotenuse, so we should use cosine. Cosine theta, cosine 18 degrees, is adjacent over hypotenuse, and we simply solve by multiplying both sides by 190. 190 cos 18 is equal to Vx. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And you end up getting 180.7 meters per second. And it's to the right, so it'll be positive. Now if we round it off to a couple of significant figures, or three, let's say three significant figures, we get positive 181 meters per second. Now let's look at Vy. Now Vy is opposite to the angle, and we know the hypotenuse, so let's use sine. Sine theta, which is 18 degrees, is opposite Vy over 190, over hypotenuse. Multiply both sides by 190, And we get Vy is 190 sine 18, which gives us 58.71. And because it's down, we're going to say Vy is negative. So don't forget components are still vectors. They still can be positive or negative. And rounding that off to just a couple of significant figures, I get negative 59 meters per second for my vertical component.